All right, this is my Ender 3 running on a duet board. I'll show you in a moment so you can see the wiring. Printing on a clear borosilicate plate, freshly cleaned with soap water and then isopropylene. Um, yeah, printing right now is um, hopefully what's going to be the start of my columns for my enclosure. Uh, it's going to be put on this table here. I don't mind the the past error of a filament there and the chain that I removed to do the rewiring. I also have my Ender 2 over here, which is nice. Bought it used for a little money, and it wasn't that bad. It prints quite well as well, so I use that as my uh, my secondary prototyping for smaller things, and then my Ender 3 over here is for, for larger things. So this over here is going to be uh, two columns that should in theory be able to stack on top of each other but it's just the first print of it in prototype after I've designed an Infusion 360 so we'll see what happens All right so when you mount uh, something as the duet board here uh, this is the uh, I think it's called Osio case for it uh, which is really nice print that I did on the end of 3 before I uh, got it um, You'll notice that the issue is the here, the set stop over here has a very short wire normally. Um, so I just did a very quick and dirty extension. Otherwise the duet board has to sit right here and it's hugging against the box. Well against the frame of the uh, of the N3. So fix that, just quick extension, and I'm also gonna do it with all the the motors here so I can actually get my my duet Wi-Fi board away from the from the printer so I can build my enclosure on top of this uh, cheap table I bought long ago that I used to use for my uh, my previous computer but now I no longer use it so wiring here on the duet Wi-Fi when you just have a, a mostly stock and a 3 um, most of it is quite simple, but there are some unique things like the end stops here. You just need two wires, and you have this cobbler that you get from uh, from the Red Company, and you just need to go in first and third position. That's fairly simple. Uh, I have the fans over here. Hang on, I'll see if I can gently move it while it's going. Um, here you go. You have the part cooling fan and the um, and the hot end fan. They're over here. I'll see if we can move the phone in closer. Uh, yeah. So see, blue and yellow and red and uh, black and red. I when I while I was setting it up the first time, I had a I had a lot of problems with that, but got it to work. The rest of the wiring, so the bed and the mister and so on, that, that's, it's, well, hot end rather, um, bed and, and all the other wiring, that's, that's fairly standard for it. And actually over here with the motors, I, uh, I just used the normal plug that you have from the N3 and you just chip away the, there are two prongs on it and you just clip those away with your pliers and and this will fit nicely in here. Could also just rewire them if you have the crimp tool. I didn't at the time when I did it first, but ah, I might redo it now because I I bought a nice uh, nice crimp tool for it. So yeah, uh, I thought I'll do a video about this. Everybody's doing videos every time, but it's to me I'll take this as a learning experience. If somebody watches it, that's fun. If nobody watches it, that's fine. I'll probably up the quality at a different point, but uh, for now, that's just. I'm just gonna do it like this. Whoop! Up! Up! So, yeah. Simple print going on. I might add a video of uh, of it being done. It should be done tomorrow morning. So, I might record something when it's done and add it to this, and we'll see.